part two, we were busy looking at the hawk and we got shut off. Um, so basically look back and ponder and muse and maybe um, think about um, in meditation and just before you go to bed at night for any stories or any imprints, anything that needs to be um, healed to come forward and what distortions have you brought forward from the Adam Eve stories, energies, um, without going to the Google and what Google thinks it means, because you don't want to keep returning back to um, an energy that is completely falling away and shifting. You want to be able to use your intuitiveness and all that you are, all that you exist within in new ways to start discovering yourself anew. So as little as possible, release about going back to old stories to get your information from, because now we're meaning to just trust who we are within, what stories have um, corrupted our sense of self, what we exist within and what exists within us, what have distorted um, who we are and what we know ourselves to be and the potentiality of who we are. And this is how we get to redesign and create our new reality um, and really get refined about what we want to feel. I just want to show this beautiful pack of essence oils. Um, it's a little pharmacy um, kit that you can travel. It's called a travel kit with different energies. The different essence oils are beautiful. They smell so good. And these are great to, um, little essences to take on trips and little visits to the park. We're using natural essence oils just to reset your, your biochemistry within you um, for different, they've got lots of different kits for different things. This is a mindfulness kit. Um, and I bought this at the store called Sage. Um, it's a beautiful store with essence oils. Um, and they're also good, um, children like to have them too if they have a lot of anxiety and, and going through different things. The essence oils really help. Um, our crystalline bodies just reset to a more natural state as opposed to using, um, um, you know, synthetic drugs. And so, dear Lighted, what's so excited? So these are really, really profound global collective issues and they were channeled to me. Um, so any content and any information and any writings that are created by me, of me, are for my use of teaching for the collective human, creative collective and the codes that we bring forward right from the councils and what's meant to for the collective stories that are being rewritten and how we've handled, how we've gone through and how we've evolved through the Adam Eve story. How have we allowed ourselves to return back to balance? And so it just allows us that further clarification of who we are and how we're returning to balance. So what's that meant for you in your own evolution? So let's pick some cards before we get kicked off again. Thank you, everybody. So feel free to write your comments down about your experiences in the park, connecting with Gaia at any time. Just go Go out and do some breath exercises with Gaia and allow her to help heal you and restate, reinstate your energy fields, reinstate your breath and understand about the imprints and the, the um, experiences that you've come with and know that you can get through them and see things in a different way and create things in a different way. And so we're going to pick two more cards. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to pick two more cards. Thank you. Homeostasis is going to be really key. Remember using your wisdom from the past and creating new now moments. Wow, we've been getting that tower a lot, haven't we? <laughs> the tower card's come out a lot. The tower card's getting lots of business. And tower cards aren't always necessarily, remember, you don't have to label anything as bad. It's about redefining everything as needed and necessary. The first card that came out was the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands and then the Tower. And so the vibrational story is the new beginnings that each of us have to create those new um, moments of ignition, moments of creative fire, moments of movement, um, energizing that new movement to, to be centered. Within the wand, it's always the, you know, the wand is the straight up and down, the straight and narrow, if you will. But it's creative energy. It's the creative experience that we all have for these new beginnings. These new beginnings are really crucial for humanity. And we're bringing it in with great speed, with great direction. Um, and that that is our ability to move, um, you know, through various definitions and various realities, various timelines of what worked, what didn't work, and then bringing it to a now moment, which it will create those tower moments. This tower moment for humanity is profound, and, and it's a collective underpinning. When we're seeing things unfold within our reality that have been highly corrupt or abuse of power and whatever ways that we see it in any level of our reality, because it, it does affect us at all levels. And we're now, um, those tower moments are highly exciting and celebratory because it shows that the, enough of the collective is at a certain point where we get to now rewrite it. We've had enough experience. We've been through the darkness. We've been through the dark night of the soul again and again and again and again. 
we've navigated our psyche and our wounds and our inner child and our shadow at great lengths. And now we can understand our psyches as being very profound and having to create these beautiful stories and rebalance humanity where all people can be great leaders and using the wisdom of our past and our cultures and our, our diversity of who we have been, our diversity of the roles we've played, the diversity of the woundedness that we've played and bring it forward in a new healed way where we can see all as being healed and allowing those voices to be shared in great dynamic potential. So these are really profound times for humanity. They're beyond what any, what any, um, what any experience can express. I mean, they're profound, <laughs> mind-boggling human, human evolution that we're in the middle of right now. So we send you off with love and light, dear lighted ones. Um, get out to the park in any way that you can. Get yourself out in nature to reset, just with intention, breathe and ground. And really start to ponder these beautifully celebratory experiences with planet Earth and how it goes down to every fabric of our experience with nature, with wildlife, the imbalances and the rebalancing and what that means for you and how you can heal further and deeper. And so we love you, dear lighted ones. For those of you that would like to donate, our links are below. We love you so very much. And we're sending you love and light and peace and will. Goodwill always. Rainbow kisses.